Good morning and welcome to Easy Drupal. Uh, I've got my webcam switched on this morning, so uh, apologies if you don't want to see my face. Let me know if you don't, if you'd rather not. Uh, probably should have had a shave. Um, okay, so today we're going to be installing Path Auto, which is uh, a must-have Drupal module uh, on Drupal 9, and this is done using the command line. So you will need access to either your local command line, if it's the local environment you're using, or your remote command line via SSH. So if you've got a hosted solution, you need to first of all work out how to get connected there. I won't go into that here because it will be different for every different system. Okay, so uh, what I normally do if I want to install a module, once I've located the module and decided what I want to do, I go to the project page on drupal.org and in here there is some versions. So the green versions are good to go. They're um, recommended, I think is what you, yeah, recommended by the project's maintainer. So <clears throat> this one is for Drupal 7. We don't want that one. We want the Drupal 9 one. Now, because we're installing using Composer, they give you the instruction on how to install it. So we're gonna copy that, and then we're gonna flick over to our development environment. So in our terminal window, we can paste the instruction from the Drupal website. We could also just type require Drupal slash path auto, and that will also get the latest version. Um, I tend to use the instructions from the Drupal website because it's easier. So that will go and get the packages that are required plus any um, dependencies and it will install it. So we now have Path Auto installed. You can see it's also installed CTools and Token, which we need as well. Okay, so to enable it in the Drupal administration, we're using Drush. If you haven't got Drush installed, uh, there's another video coming out that will uh, explain how to do that. We use EN for enable. You can write the word enable, but the shortcut is EN, and then the name of the module. Okay, that's installed Path Auto. Uh, it looks like I've got another issue with uh, a module called Blazy that does not exist. That's not related to this install. I'll fix that separately. Okay, so now if we go over to the administration, we should be able to see Path Auto and I can show you how to set it up. So if we now visit our demo site and go to extend, which is where the modules are listed and type path for Path Auto, we'll see the Path Auto is now there and has a tick against it. It also lists the dependencies there and those were installed as well. Okay, so we have now got Path Auto installed. To configure it, we go to configuration, URL, aliases. We now have some extra settings. So we've got patterns, settings, bulk generate. So patterns is where we go. This is where we set the pattern for different content types for the Path Auto module to use. So at the moment we have no pattern entities set. So we add a new pattern and we will do a content pattern type and we will just call this sorry we will call this general or all content let's call it and we will apply that to article news basic page and these other two as well now we need to give it a pattern the standard pattern would be node title so that'll just be the root of the site and the name of the node so we'll go with that. You can obviously, I could put something in front of that. Say it was a news page, I could make it news like so. But we won't do that, we'll just do the basic one. We save that. So if we go to the bulk generate tab under URL aliases, we can recreate the aliases using our new pattern. So if I change the pattern, I would have to delete the aliases here and then go in and recreate them. So we are going to update all of our content that doesn't have a path already set. So now when we go to content, we will have paths for all of our content. So now when we look at the content, if I hover over that and look at the bottom, 
you can see that it's taken the name and turned it into a URL alias. Okay, that's how you do it. As I say, it's a really powerful module. Definitely should install that one. If you have any uh, comments, please let me know below and I'll try and answer any I can. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon.